So I'd like to welcome on stage with his title, One Banana at a Time, from Ranjit Venkatesh. Welcome on stage. The year was 1892, 129 years ago. The man in the orange robes was Swami Vivekananda. Now his eyes were pained. See, he had traveled the length of India and he had come back after seeing all the poverty and the ignorance as he saw it. And he wanted to make a change. He was standing in front of the sea and there was a piece of rock in front of him 500 meters from the mainland. And he wanted to get there. Now the waves were high, but his resolve to get to the rock was higher. So he swam out into the sea. He got to the rock, he sat down and he meditated for two long days. And he came back with a resolution. He dedicated his life to uplift the masses in India. Meditation. See, there's so much happening around us. Then it's this, look around you. There's so much beauty. There's so much pleasure in keeping our eyes open. Now, why would you stop all this external stimulus and close your eyes and meditate? See, I was 15 years old when I heard about meditation and I did not see any point in this exercise. But a family friend of ours decided that I needed some meditation and she gave me a few sessions and she decided to initiate me. Now you might ask yourself, what is an initiation? Is it some kind of a cult? Uh, no, you see, I already belong to a cult, Toastmasters, I don't need another one. But anyway, an initiation is providing the vision to see a path. You know, you could think of it like pathways. Now, she took her finger, put it on my forehead, and she initiated me. Now, did I feel a current, electric current go through my body? No, I did not. But what I did want to do was I wanted to prove that I could sit down and meditate. So that is exactly what I did. For three to four weeks, I took 15 to 20 minutes of my time, sat down in that balcony, closed my eyes, and meditated. Now, after three weeks, my exams came along and I had no time to do nothing. I had no time to do meditation. Now, fast forward a few decades. Now I got married, I got a kid, I got a job. You remember Swami Vivekananda, the guy who swam 500 meters to a piece of rock to meditate for two days. Now he compares the mind to a monkey. He says the mind is like a monkey, which is intoxicated by alcohol, and at the same time also stung by a scorpion. Now, sometimes when I think of my mind, I can very much understand why he compares the mind to a monkey. Mind definitely is one. I got married to an English woman. We did not have a um, horse. We did not have an elephant at our wedding, but I get weak knees when I listen to an English voice. So I decided to sign up for the meditation app called Headspace because I was gonna to listen to the smooth, sexy and silky voice of Andy Pudicom. Now, after one and a half years of listening to guided meditation, 
I think I had got it right in. Meditation was a part of my daily routine. The gamification worked on me. My head had the space it needed. The monkey was sobering up. Now, since March last year, we all of us have had a lot of time to ourselves. And I'm interested in the time that we have in our hands. See, we spend it eating, working, sleeping, binge watching, sport, and a bit of the German national sport, Luftung. But do we spend some of this time alone with our minds? Can we sit down for 10 minutes in a day and spend it with the vast expanse of our minds? Now, why, you might ask? See, we all know that health is a complex interplay of nutritious food, physical and mental health. Now, meditation I found for myself definitely helped me with my mental health. And a good mental health I found has the potential to influence the food that I took in and my physical health. Will it be easy? Mm, not really. You know, just like speech making, meditation needs practice. But the nice thing about it is that all you need is just 10 minutes in a quiet place where nobody is going to disturb you. I want to leave you with a story about the effect of meditation in my life. After a session of meditation, I'm able to observe the monkey in my mind. Now, previously, this monkey went crazy when it saw a bunch of bananas. But today, when this monkey walks into a banana farm with thousands of bananas, all it wants to do is to sit down below a big leaf of a banana tree and eat one banana at a time. Thank you so much, Ranjit. You went from being the guy who 